Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another fall inspired makeup tutorial. I know it looks a little bit more like gothic-y, that's like the vibe that I'm getting right now, but I am totally feeling myself with this look, with the dark lips, the dark eyes, choker, black hair, black um, also, I wanted to say I am sorry that I've been so MIA and so inconsistent with my videos here on YouTube. You guys know that I usually upload three times a week. But as you can see, I've been just revamping my beauty room. I've painted it white. And it's just, it was a hassle. My man did all the work. I do not take any credit for it. And I love it. I love it. <laughs> what do you guys think? I mean... I think it looks so much better. Again, I just feel like it looks so much brighter and just brings all the colors out. Let me know. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if the white background, if you're feeling that or if you were feeling the other background. But personally, I like it. So yeah, that is why I have been a little bit MIA. But now that I have everything back and everything ready, I'm definitely going to be filming more fall makeup looks for you guys and just other videos that I have. Uh, coming up next. So yeah, I think that is everything that I wanted to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to learn how to recreate this grungy fall makeup look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm first starting by priming my lips. You guys know that this is my jam. This is a MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I am just applying that. I am going to set this with a setting powder. This is actually a tart powder, but whatever you have in hand works just fine. I'm going to take this Cargo Cosmetics palette and I'm going to take this warm medium shade. It is so pretty and it's like the perfect transitioning shade. I'm applying that with a shader brush. This is actually a really old brush that I don't even know if they make anymore, but it is bomb. Then I'm going to apply this um, Maybelline Color Tattoo, I believe. I don't know the name. But I'm just applying that for a base and then I'm going to go in with a dark warm color. It's more of a purpley, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's a very pretty grayish plum color I guess. And I'm applying that all over the lid. This is why I set the base first so that color can really pop. And then I'm going back and just blending the color so it doesn't look too harsh. Every time I blend dark colors, I make sure that I stop before the crease so I don't take the color up too high and it doesn't look like I got sucked in the face. Then I'm going to take the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and I'm just applying a small coat or a generous coat. And then I am going to clean up around my eyes with the Garnier Micellar Water because my eyes were looking a little cray cray. After that, I'm going to curl my lashes and I do not recommend for you guys to curl your lashes after you've applied your mascara because as you can see here, I almost freaking took off my eyelashes, so I do not recommend this. After that, I'm going to take my favorite lashes at the moment. These are Baddington lashes in the style Bardo. They are so pretty. I just love how they make my eyes look. They are so, so fluffy. So then I've actually primed my face with the Rimmel Stay Matte and this is a foundation that I'm going to be using. As you can see, I am running low. This is is, you know by far my favorite foundation I love it it's just so full coverage and it just matches my skin tone to a T so I'm applying that all over my face and then I'm spraying my beauty blender with a little bit of like a setting spray and then I am just quickly blending this in I just didn't want to take my time in doing it because you guys have seen me do my foundation a million times I'm gonna take the Tarte Cosmetics concealer and I have been loving this. I picked it up because I've seen so many people rave about it and uh, you guys, if you do not own this concealer, I highly recommend it. It is a little bit pricier, it is Tarte, but it is so worth it. It's so full coverage, but it's not cakey. It just blends into the skin so nicely. After that, I'm gonna take this Real Techniques little sponge and I'm just blending out the concealer. I've been really liking this um, sponge just to blend out the concealer because it just really gets in there and it just blends everything so seamlessly. I'm first going to set it with that Tarte powder because you guys know that I love snatching my nose. So this just really helps to set the concealer first and then I go in and actually bake. But this is a new technique that I've been doing and I just noticed such a huge difference. I'm going to take the Laura Mercier setting powder and translucent. I also recently picked this up after years, like everybody and their mama talks about it and 
I don't know why I just didn't you know I didn't want to pick it up but I finally did and honestly I don't know how I feel about it so after that I'm gonna take this hula bronzer and I'm going to start snatching my nose you guys know that I live for a snatched contour because I have more of a wider nose so I definitely like to contour it and this is the technique that I've been doing and I really really like it I like to take it to the tip just to make it a little bit narrow and to the sides of my nose to make it appear a little bit slimmer then I'm just going to dust off the powder and just make sure that there is no powder and yeah that is pretty much for the baking now I'm going to set my face this is the Maybelline um, I think it's the new setting powder that they have I don't have the exact name or the number of the powder that I use but as always I will have it listed down below so make sure to check that out I actually really like this because it's not too full coverage so it's just like that perfect amount and then for my bronzer, I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Contour Palette. I've been loving this so much. It's definitely been my favorite and my go-to product for the last month, I would say. Um, I know that I haven't been doing monthly favorites, and that's, I don't know, I just felt like they kind of got repetitive. So if you guys want to see my current favorite products, definitely let me know in the comments, and I will film that for you guys. And then I'm going to take this blush from the e.l.f. palette. This is in the color Light and I just picked up that peachy color. It is so pretty and it's one of my favorites as well. Now I'm going to show you guys how to glow to the gauze. Can you see this? This is the e.l.f. Illuminating Cream. It is so gorgeous. It was just giving me life. Like I, I literally died and came back to life. This has been just like my thing to do. I just been going crazy with highlighting and as you can see applying a powder highlight makes such a difference. It just, ugh, you just glow, glow, glow. So this is what I've been doing. I really like it and then I do go back with a beauty sponge and I just blend everything so you don't really see harsh lines. And I just, I love it. I love how my skin looks. It just looks very luminous, very healthy, and it doesn't look like I have a ton of highlight on. I decided to go with a black eyeliner. I was first going to skip it, but I just really wanted to do something super grungy and super dark. So I did apply a black eyeliner. This is the J Cat black eyeliner. And then for lips, I just used the Smashbox Cosmetics in the zone liquid lipstick and that was pretty much it so i hope you guys enjoy this grungy gothic -y fall makeup look that i did for you guys if you guys want to see more fall looks leave me a comment and let me know what you guys want to see next don't forget to subscribe like and i will see you guys in my next video bye chicas